Yeah, yeah, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Gama Club, and I'm back. This is the third set against Mr. Uh, Shindion. And, uh, yeah, man, I'm going to give some commentary this go-round. I know I didn't talk much about the actual matchups in the other two videos, so my bad on that. But, yeah, I decided to go with Balrog this go-round. And uh, I don't know why. I mean, you can see I have zero battle points because I don't really use him in this version. I mean, he's pretty much the same. But on my D-pad, I cannot do any uh, down charge moves. Like his headbutt, or if I'm playing with Guile, I can't do, uh, you know, the flash kick. So it was kind of a bad choice for me. But you know what? I tried my best. You know, he took the first round, as you see. He took that very easily. Second round, um, I don't recall exactly what happened. But I'm just going to watch it and speak as we go. Because I do remember doing some damage to him. Now, that headbutt, that's, that's essential for Balrog. Because as you know, a lot of people use that to link into the Ultra combo. So, without that, I really was limited. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know what? Shout out to Mr. Shin Dion, though. Because he's a beast, regardless. He probably would have took it. But, all right, yeah, that was random right there. It came out, wasn't supposed to come out. <laughs> I think I was trying to like uh, hop back or do something. But anyway, you notice I'm trying to keep him in the corner. Get him a little uncomfortable. Yeah, see that? Didn't even link it with the headbutt, but it's all good. Wow. So I took that round right there. I'm just happy I got one round off of this dude because he is absolutely crazy. His uh, inside game is crazy. He has this hop back and forth trickery mind game thing that he does and it's amazing and you know what though a lot of people sometimes you watch these videos right and and you think to yourself you know what i can take this guy because you're basing it on what you're seeing right then and there and you know when you play someone it's an entirely different thing because you have like split second timing to make a decision on what you're going to do and how you're going to react so keep that in mind because he's not a pattern player at all his blocker was different every time we faced each other and I'm like that too, so if you want to send him a battle or even myself, go ahead and do so. Shout out to everybody else again. Peace and love. I'm out.